We started with a warm-up that included elements of passion and receiving, ball mastery and agility work. An issue that girls face, especially when they go into their teen years, is that they are more likely to suffer an ACL injury than boys. And I want to make sure that the girls are getting used to changing direction, moving in different directions early on, so that when we finally get to those age groups, gonna, their body's going to be a little bit more used to it and hopefully it's going to reduce the risk of that injury. Progressions to the warm-up included calling it two numbers and the players had to go and touch those two cones in the number order, three numbers and then four numbers. The ball mastery techniques changed each time as well for the players on the outside to be working on different types of skills, different types of movements there. The reason I threw in the extra numbers was to make sure that the girls were warming their brains up as well as their bodies. They're on the school holidays at the moment, so there's a good chance they could have been sitting on their phones all day. They could have been sitting watching Netflix all day. Some of them could have been productive. I don't know. But with the middle portion of the session being quite complex compared to what they're used to, I wanted to make sure their brains were ready to go for that part of the session. As you can see, I'm having to take part as well. This is due to it being a pairs activity and there being an odd number. Not ideal as it didn't allow me to keep an eye on everybody else. And as you can see, some of the girls are doing the movement correctly, but some of them are only running forward and turning round when it's something behind them. Not an ideal situation, but they are moving, they are remembering things and they are getting their bodies ready for the practice ahead. <laughs> 